guys, my name is Stephen Beecham, and here's what's happening this week on CNET's Crave Block. It was announced this week that superstar Lady Gaga will be the first American recording artist to perform live from outer space. Gaga will be taking part in the Zero G Colony, a three-day music festival happening in early 2015. The event will take place at Spaceport America, the world's first commercial spaceport and home of Virgin Galactic in New Mexico. Lady Gaga confirmed her appearance on Wednesday, tweeting the hashtag GagaInSpace2015. It is worth noting that Canadian space agency astronaut Chris Hadfield performed with the bare naked ladies from outer space while aboard the International Space Station, and he even shot a music video for a remake of David Bowie's Space Oddity. But Lady Gaga will be the first American recording artist to perform live from outer space. Out of this world, galaxy, space and time. PiPal allows a user to order pizza with a push of a button. Domino's Pizza has an online ordering system, so the guys at iStrategy Labs thought, why not simplify it more? So they created the PiPal. The light up PiPal button was 3D printed using a MakerBot Replicator 2. The iStrategy Labs team programmed the interface to work with the Domino's online ordering system using an Arduino board and a Raspberry Pi computer. You simply turn the knob to select the number of pizzas you want and press the button. A guy will magically appear at your front door with Domino's Pizza. It's genius. Eyeball scanning is for real, just like that scene from Minority Report when Tom Cruise is being served ads as he walks through the mall. Well, the British supermarket chain Tesco has been installing eyeball scanning screens called Optimize, which are made by the Amscreen company and contain built-in cameras and software that can identify certain key traits of a customer and detects whether or not their eyeballs engage the ad. The software was created in collaboration with the leading face detection business Quavity. These new digital advertising opportunities, as they are calling them, can track eye movement in real time and provide accurate data on how many times an ad was viewed by a potential customer. The software also records demographics including gender, age, date, time, and volume, all of which can help to deliver more measurable campaigns for advertisers, as well as help to produce more relevant on-screen content for Tesco customers. It is important to note that the technology is performing facial detection and not facial recognition, so no one's identity is known. But who's to say that facial recognition won't be a part of this technology in the future, so that ads targeting you can one day get very personal? Okay, so last week I asked you guys to leave a comment on what you think the top secret Google barge in the San Francisco Bay might be, and here are some of your responses. Hazufa Nadat said, I think Google's trying to make porn vids. And Chica said, Google's backing up all the porn in there. Other comments included Hugh Wong, who wrote, Studying ocean weather geography. And Gator966 wrote, Google Ocean Maps. Jacob Childs believes it's Google's secret death laser facility M. Maybe the M is code name for, I don't know. And Android Ralphie says, Google Barge, Google Fiber Mini Apartment Complex. That's kind of interesting. And finally, Jeppy Waring said, Maybe a Google Bank. Thanks for all your comments, and I will ask more questions more often. Well, as a follow-up, Google has finally acknowledged that the barge in the bay is in fact Google's and said this to CNET. Google barge, a floating data center, a wild party boat, a barge housing the last remaining dinosaur, sadly none of the above. Although it's still early days and things may change, we're exploring using the barge as an interactive space where people can learn about new technology. So there you go. Knock, knock. Who's there? I'll just let the video explain. So it's an app to unlock your laptop. Better be free. What? It's $3.99? The GPS cookie is a simple device that tracks and records your movements onto a micro SD card. It runs on two AAA batteries and simply sits in your pocket or bag all day as you go about your travels. At the end of the day, you can access your GPS data and upload it into Google Earth to visualize and keep a record of where you've been on the planet. The GPS cookie is open source and comes in two different models, a circle cookie shape 
or square. It also records times and dates and auto-generates standard NEMA 183 log files which can be opened in any mapping program. The GPS cookie met its funding goal on Kickstarter within a few days and can be yours for a pledge of $79. All right, guys, thank you very much. That is the show. As always, you can find all these news stories at CNET's Crave blog at crave.cnet.com and check out this week's Crave giveaway. This week, Crave is giving away a 240 gigabyte SanDisk Extreme 2 solid state drive. Hey, I didn't say SanDisk this time. Go to the blog and enter to win. Hey, what's up, guys? So today I'm going to be running with the bulls while mobile banking. 